Hi, Dr. Lara here. I hope you're having a beautiful day. So I was on my walk today and asked what uh, would be a good thing for people to hear today. And the word that kept coming up was fear, fear, fear. And I was like walking, I'm like, okay, I'm ready for the message. And I didn't get the message. <laughs> and I'm like, well, what do you want me to say? And the message was, you're going to get the message when you get back in your car and you get into that space to give the message. So it's basically telling me that I don't need to know what's going to happen in the future and that I need to trust that everything I need is here right now. So I think the biggest thing that happens with fear is that it's the unknown and we don't know if we're going to be okay. We don't know if our needs are going to be taken care of. We don't know if our bills are going to be paid. We don't know if we're going to be received with open arms, right? So we allow these things in our head, this fear in our head to stop us. And it's really hard to come from a place of emerging when you're in this state of fear. But if you can come from a perspective that life is always transpiring for your highest good, always. So whatever decision you make, as long as it's in alignment with what it is you want, and it's for good, your life is going to be good. And they also, okay, there is a quote that I heard. I was watching Princess Diaries with my daughter, and there was a quote in there, and it said, courage is not the absence of fear, but it's getting in touch with something inside of you that is more important than the fear. So I know that there's a lot of fear on the planet right now on many different levels in many different areas. Fear of getting sick, fear for our loved ones, uh, fear of the light workers, fear of getting ourselves out there. And the thing is, is that you're not going to know what's on the other side unless you move through it. And the only way to get to the other side is to move through your fear because the fear is not going to go away. A lot of people say, oh, well, I'll wait for the fear to go away. When I'm not so scared, then I'll do it. And it's not going to happen. If anything, the fear is going to get bigger in your head, bigger in your head. So they're showing me like this picture of you on an airplane getting ready to jump. Okay. And the airplane's up there and you're standing at the door and your heart's pounding and that fear is not going away. You, you can't stand there and say, well, I'm going to wait for this fear to go away in order for me to jump. You have to jump. And if you don't jump, the plane's going to go down, you're going to land, and you're going to miss that opportunity. But the plane can go up again, and you'll have that opportunity again. But the thing is, is what they're saying is that you really don't need to fear the unknown. A lot of things that we're holding in our, our cellular structure is fear from other stuff that's not really ours. So if you can move past your fear and move beyond where you're at and know that life is always transpiring for your highest good, then you can work through it. You can walk through it. And when you get in touch with what is inside of here, whether it's your gifts and your talents, know that those gifts and talents, they're not meant for them to be here inside of you. They're meant to be shared because they're not really yours. You're a vessel, you're a channel for these gifts and these talents. And it's made to be shared with humanity, especially right now. And if you don't think you have gifts or talents, it doesn't matter. It's your smile. It's your kind words. It's your gestures. That stuff doesn't need to stay here. It needs to be shared. And it is so needed in the planet right now. So I invite you today to make a decision and set the intention to work through your fear to just move through it and come out on the other side. I hope that helps. I hope you have a beautiful day.
And if you're interested, my husband, Mark, and I, we have a membership group that we host every month. We have like four calls a month. I do angel readings in this group. We have a private Facebook page. Um, I do meditations. He does meditations. We have tools. We have courses. We have all of this wonderful stuff that's available for you if you feel called to go to it. So you can visit my website, drlararomero.com, and just kind of read up on it, see if it's something that interests you. So I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. Blessings.